How can vitamin C help someone on prednisone? Hi, I'm Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist. I wanted to talk about the important role vitamin C has for people on prednisone. Prednisone is an oral corticosteroid used to treat inflammatory conditions or autoimmune conditions. And it's amazing. It saved my life, but it causes lots of side effects. So can vitamin C help? That's what I'm here to talk about today. Throughout this video, I will talk about what vitamin C is, great ways to get it, what prednisone side effects it can help cope with, and why it really matters and best ways to get it. So first of all, how does vitamin C work? It is a vitamin. So vitamin means it's a vital mineral. That's what it, that's what vitamin means. And you can't make it on your own. You have to eat it. Sailors who were stuck on a ship for years and years without fresh fruits and vegetables could die of scurvy, a condition of low vitamin C or zero vitamin C, vitamin C deficiency. So you have to eat it. It's completely necessary for your body. And what is it needed for? So it protects our cells from damage as an antioxidant by preventing free radicals from getting out of control. These free radicals can show up in our bodies due to various factors such as pollution, smoking, or medications like prednisone. You need vitamin C in order to form blood vessels, muscle, and collagen in our bones. Vitamin C is also vital to your body's healing processes, including the growth and repair of tissues. Vitamin C also helps your body absorb and store iron, which is essential in making hemoglobin and helping carry oxygen throughout your body. I personally have to take iron for my anemia, and I always take vitamin C along with my iron to absorb it better. So what are the symptoms of this vitamin C deficiency that I was referring to? So having low vitamin C can weaken your immune system, making it hard for your body to fight off infections. It can also impair wound healing and collagen production, leading to delayed healing and potentially affecting the health of the skin, joints, and connective tissues. Vitamin C deficiency may increase the risk of oxidative damage and inflammation in the body. What's really interesting is that prednisone is actually been documented to steal vitamin C from your body. So you might have been eating the normal amount of vitamin C as before, or you might have eaten vitamin C in the past and had some stored up, but prednisone is stealing it. It's causing you to get rid of it faster and use it up faster so that you have an effective vitamin C deficiency. I wouldn't say you have a full-blown scurvy, but if you're taking prednisone, especially high doses, then your body has more likely a lower amount of vitamin C than usual because your body is increasing the excretion of vitamin C through the urine and reducing its absorption from the diet. This occurs because prednisone affects the way your body processes and metabolizes vitamin C, and that can lead to a deficiency of vitamin C, and that can have several effects on your health. The symptoms of vitamin C deficiency, which is also known as scurvy, include easy bruising, dry splitting hair and nails, slow healing wounds, bleeding inflamed and swollen gums, rough, dry, or irritated skin, inexplicable weight gain, and frequent nosebleeds. Prednisone lowers vitamin C, especially if you're taking other medications that can also deplete vitamin C. So what are the other medications that can deplete vitamin C? Other medications that can deplete it include aspirin, really common over-the-counter medication. Research shows that aspirin prevents the critical immune system blood cells from absorbing optimal amounts of vitamin C. The second one is proton pump inhibitors such as esomeprazole, lansoprazole, omeprazole, pentoprazole, or rabeprazole, protonics, and other brand names. Proton pump inhibitors lower stomach acid, and that process lowers the concentration of vitamin C in the gastric juices where it is normally actively secreted. So it's harder for your body to get the vitamin C into your body when you're taking a proton pump inhibitor. The third type of medication that also depletes vitamin C are estrogen and oral contraceptives or birth control pills. The estrogen in the birth control, like estradiol, ethanyl estradiol, levonorgestrel, or norethindrone. Some research suggests that oral contraceptives containing estrogen increase vitamin C metabolism. So you're breaking it down faster. And that means you're decreasing the levels of vitamin C in platelets and some white blood cells. 
The fourth type of medication that depletes vitamin C includes loop diuretics, bumetanide, ethacrinic acid, furosemide, and torsemide. Furosemide is definitely the most common one. These diuretics work by increasing your urine production. So it's getting rid of water by making more pee. Therefore, they can increase the excretion of water-soluble nutrients your body can't store, like vitamin C. So that's the kind of drugs that help, like that are decreasing the amount of vitamin C. There are also other drugs that interact with vitamin C. So let's talk about those. If you are taking any of the following medications, then you should be careful about vitamin C supplements. So if you're taking aspirin and NSAIDs, like ibuprofen or naproxen, these can lower the amount of vitamin C in the body because they cause more of the vitamin to be lost in the urine. And high doses of vitamin C can cause those drugs to stay longer in the body, raising the levels in your blood. So that can lead to more side effects from those drugs. Acetaminophen or Tylenol. High doses of vitamin C may lower the amount of acetaminophen passed in the urine, which could cause the levels of this drug in your blood to rise. Aluminum containing antacids is number three. Vitamin C can increase the amount of aluminum your body absorbs, which could cause the side effects of those medications containing aluminum to be worse. These include Maalox or Gaviscon. Number four is oral contraceptives. We already talked about these a little bit, but they can decrease the effects of vitamin C in the body. And number five is tetracycline antibiotics. Some evidence suggests that taking vitamin C with the antibiotic tetracycline may increase the levels of tetracycline. It may also decrease the effects of vitamin C in the body. Other antibiotics in the same family of drugs include minocycline or minocin, and doxycycline, which is vibromycin. So what side effects of prednisone could taking vitamin C help? First of all, we're replenishing this nutrient that's depleted, right? Like you might've been here before and prednisone is causing it to go here. So if you give back the vitamin C, now you're back up to where you need to be. And that's the most important thing. So the following side effects can improve or otherwise be replenished or counteracted by taking vitamin C. Check out this picture of all the possible side effects that vitamin C could improve. So the first important one is boosting your immune system. One of the key effects and side effects of prednisone is how it affects your immune system. It's saving people's lives from autoimmune conditions by decreasing the immune system. And so it's harder for the body to fight off infections. So if you give vitamin C, then that can enhance immune function and help strengthen your defenses against illnesses. Number two, vitamin C can help with wound healing. Because prednisone can slow down the healing processes for cuts, bruises, and other injuries, it's important to counteract that. So vitamin C plays a crucial role in collagen production. And collagen is a protein in your body that helps build and repair skin, tissues, and blood vessels. By consuming enough vitamin C, you may help speed up the healing process and improve wound recovery. Number three, protecting skin health. Prednisone may cause thinning of the skin, making it more prone to bruising and damage. Prednisone can also cause flushing and red cheeks. Check out this picture of me with blushing red cheeks. Other symptoms of vitamin C deficiency, like hair loss, can be worsened by prednisone, and vitamin C can promote the production of collagen, which can help maintain skin strength and elasticity and promote healthy hair. Vitamin C can also help reduce redness on skin. Number four, vitamin C can help support bones. Prednisone can cause bone loss, which may be related to the loss of collagen from low vitamin C. Replenishing vitamin C may support bone health by building bone structure. Number five, supporting blood sugar. Did you know that vitamin C can help with blood sugar? That was one fun thing I learned. Prednisone can sometimes cause an increase in blood sugar levels, especially in individuals who already have diabetes or are at risk for developing it. Vitamin C has been studied for its potential to help regulate blood sugar levels by improving insulin sensitivity. Insulin is a hormone that helps control blood sugar. And so if it works better, then you have better blood sugar control. So how can you get vitamin C? Well, my favorite to start with is eating it these delicious citrus fruits. They are all great sources of vitamin C, grapefruit, limes, lemons, and oranges or mandarins. And as you can see the Christmas tree behind me, I love reading this story about 
called The Christmas Oranges about a little orphan girl who gets an orange for Christmas. It is so sweet. Totally different situation. But in my family, we would always get an orange at the very bottom of our stocking because it's related to this special story. So that, those are some of the ways you can get vitamin C. You can also eat other fruits like strawberries and kiwis. They're great sources of vitamin C. And there are lots of other things, including tomatoes, broccoli, melons, avocado, guava, papaya, mangoes, pineapple, and baked potatoes. The thing about baked potatoes and other cooking methods is that they can lower a food's vitamin C level. So microwaving or steaming could reduce the cooking losses, but most vitamin C containing foods you just eat raw, right? Like you just peel it and eat it. So they're best consumed uncooked. And it's best to get vitamin C from the diet instead of taking supplements, but it's hard to get enough from just the diet, especially while taking prednisone. And so it's important to supplement. You can go the cheap route and get this giant thing from Costco. That's a possibility. They have really fancy versions with like acerola cherry and other natural sources of vitamin C. So you get the full vitamin C complex. Or if you'd like a really simple solution that gets you not only vitamin C, but all the other nutrients prednisone is stealing, replenishing them, you can get neutronized zone. I invented this because I had to take prednisone and it was miserable and I never wanted to have to suffer that many side effects ever again. So I have vitamin C in neutronized zone. It comes in a morning and a bedtime bottle and it replenishes the nine or more nutrients that prednisone is stealing, including vitamin C, plus has other ingredients to support healthy blood sugars, help support your bones and get restful sleep at night. You can just get it at Neutronize.com. Just go to Neutronize.com, signing off as Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist.